A man just got caught hiding the last megalodon. No, he didn't. That's faker than influencer's eyebrows. The megalodon is extinct and is bigger than you. You thought I was gonna say your mom, huh? You're dead. But even if the megalodon was alive today, no one could hide it. Just like the great white shark, they're too big to put in aquariums. Wow. These are some of the craziest and scary moments ever in aquariums, and these clips are gonna get crazier as we go through this video. And the last one is gonna blow your mind. Check out this polar bear in this zoo. While these two guys were enjoying the view, this polar bear dives down, grabs a rock, and goes up and then drops it. See that? So while these two boomer grandpas were being entertained, and no, it wasn't me, the polar bear dives down again, he grabs a rock, and check out what happens. It's crazy. Yeah, I'd be running too, since polar bears are the largest land predators alive today. Fun fact, polar bears are actually considered aquatic animals. Whoa, these are the coolest fish ever. It looks like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Check him out, man, that's so cool. We are venom. These are called split fin flashlight fish and have bioluminescent bacteria in their eyes that the fish can turn off when they blink. And yes, many people do have these things in aquariums. If I had those in my aquarium and I went down at 3 a.m. to get some Cheerios, I'd freak out if I saw those eyes staring at me. Would you have these in your aquarium? Subscribe and comment venom fish if you would. Is that a baby? Imagine just chilling at home with Netflix and your 90 gallon aquarium explodes. Oh, that's crazy. That's scary. Bro, the dog is so Sigma, he never even got off the couch. He said, I'm not about to get my feet sweat. A 90 gallon fish tank in your living room sounds like a really bad idea. This aquarium exploded and 1 million liters of water flooded the streets along with many aquatic animals. Sadly, over 1,500 fish were lost in this incident. This aqua dome was located in Germany and was the largest aquarium in the world. After it exploded, it took over 100 emergency people to help secure the area. The cause of this was actually one of the seams in the fish tank was not properly repaired, which caused the pressure to burst it open. Dinosaur in aquarium? That looks like a liopleurodon. Welcome to Jurassic World. It's just a Chinese soft shell turtle, bro. It's just the angle of the camera that makes it look weird. What's really crazy is the fact that they use this turtle as a basis for the bad guy Bowser and Super Mario Brothers. What's that? What's that, brother? That thing has lips like an Instagram influencer. Bruh. So this washed up on a beach in Australia. Of course it was Australia, bro. Many people argued over what this could be and said that it was an alien, but it's just a coffin ray. It's all deformed and bloated, just like it. Ah, you thought I was gonna say your mom, huh? No, man, I gotta make up. I roast your mom too much. Your mom is beautiful and sweet. Anyway, a coffin ray has over 200 volts of electricity and can shock its prey 50 times in 10 minutes. Quite shocking, isn't it? Hey, look, it's Dory. Oh no. What'd you do? Dory isn't moving. Where's Nemo when you need him? I told her to keep on swimming. Dude, just let her go, she can't breathe. Come on, let her go. What, she faked it? So that's why Dory has short-term memory loss. By the way, the type of fish Dory is, is a blue tank fish. Many people do have them in aquariums, but they're hard to take care of. Just let Dory go, bro. Great, now she's lost her family again. What? Ma, you see this? No. I thought it was a face hugger or a giant mouse, but it's a fish called a plain fin midshipman. It's actually upside down in this video and they can breathe out of water. And most people actually use these things for shark bait. Don't tap on the glass. What's in it? So you can't tell someone not to do something and expect them not to. I know I would. So I don't know what he's- ah! It's always the people who tap on the glass, bro. Wait, is that the same glass? I think it is. Maybe it's not. Keep touching. Don't do it, cause she knows she's gonna, you're gonna get faked out. Don't do it. I'm not gonna jump this time though. Watch, it's not gonna get me. Oh Anytime someone's holding the camera and tells you to do something, you probably shouldn't do it. Pull my finger, bro. This lady was swimming in the ocean and this Hawaiian monk seal was swimming near her with its pup. Now I'm no survival expert here, bro, but if you ever see a massive seal in the water and his pup swimming next to you, you probably need to get out the water. What you don't wanna do is stand in the shallow water and swim around in circles screaming. But she is okay after this incident though. So this giant squid latched onto this guy's surfboard. It looks like something from the upside down. Yeah, that's kind of funny, isn't it? It's funny because it's not you. Yeah, she thinks it's funny, but if that giant squid would grab her board, I bet she would scream like a Swifty. Now this one is just a juvenile, and these things can actually get up to 43 feet or so. They've been known to attack humans too. I gotta give bro some respect though. He did stay pretty calm in this situation. That baby Kraken could have dragged him down to Davy Jones' locker. Don't you think we're going too far? Girl, you went too far when you put your toe in the water. There's so much stuff in that water, my imagination would never let me do that. And you see, it's not just the sharks you need to worry about in the ocean. That's a diamondback rattlesnake. But what's crazy, they aren't even as venomous as the sea snakes that are in the ocean. Dude! Look at that! That's huge! That is a 
great white. Dude, that is. That's a great white. If that's a great white, then this is a cat. Bro, it's a sunfish, and they can get up to 10 feet and weigh 5,000 pounds. And this is what they look like as babies. I can't tell if these dudes are Florida, or if they're just saying this for a video. What would you catch? What is- <gasps> That's scary. I need to change my doctor pants. What's so crazy and scary about great whites is you can't see them until they're right up on you. Great whites are excellent hunters with excellent camouflage, and they eat like this dude at a buffet. Get in my belly! Whoa! Look at that orca! Those seals don't stand a chance. And if this clip is real, that means that orca is 60 feet long, which is as big as a megalodon. But it's faking in your grandma's teeth since orcas don't really get over 32 feet long. Is that a chainsaw? He caught a chainsaw with a fishing rod? Who cha- Oh, I thought it was a chainsaw. It's an extremely rare sawfish, man. They're found in the Gulf of Mexico, and if you catch one, you should call a local wildlife because they are a critically endangered species. Dude, that water seems really scary and dirty. What'd you do to it? That's nasty. What is that, though? Is it just rough water? Something's in the water. What is it? Now that's scary. Manatees are some of the craziest animals in the water. Like me! Since they are in shallow water, they do get scared pretty easily when you start them, and they start freaking out like a Swifty. Fun fact, manatees have no known predators. In fact, it's so rare for even a shark or an alligator to eat them. Manatees are like the capybaras of the ocean. What creature is this? Yep, that's freaky. No, it's not what you're thinking. It's not your sister. That is the snout of a manatee, and this is why they call it sea cows. One time, I actually saw a manatee in Florida when I was walking on a boardwalk, and I could have reached down and touched it. But since I'm a pansy and I'm scared, I didn't do it. But it's also illegal to touch a manatee. Did you know that? But that's not the part that stopped me. It's the scary part. It's the pig fish from SpongeBob. AI is getting out of hand. We got pig sticks before GTA 6, bro. I'm not sure what this weird fish is, but it swims in rivers and canals. Oh, look at that thing. Wow, that's not a fish, it's your grandpa. Nah, man, it's a British fish. Bruh. It's a sheep's head. And yes, they do look that weird. They actually do have teeth that look like a human's teeth or a sheep's teeth. That's why they call sheep head. Dang, that fish has better teeth than me. That's not me, bro. That's a trigger fish. They have those beautiful teeth that let them feed on crabs and sea urchins. And these fish are very territorial, and they do bite scuba divers when they get too close. Maybe I should go see that fish's dentist. Bro, not the toilet, please. Where will I do my business? Bro, what in the Jumanji is going on here? At first I thought someone left their weaves, but that would be unbelievable. Huh? That's a pretty crappy situation, and they look like spiders, but those are coconut crabs. They actually climb up coconut trees, and they crack open the coconuts. Whoa! Look at that lot. Wait, look how big it is. He risked his sleeves to show us how big it is, man. Now his sleeve's gonna be wet for like five hours. He took one for the team, little bro. Actually, man, this is fake. It's been going around. It's a viral image. It's from a statue or something. If you go in this slide, you can see all these sharks around you. This is pretty cool, but my thalassophobia and claustrophobia would never let me do this. I don't know, man. Maybe it's time I start facing my fears. What do you think? Comment. You ready to go swimming if you think I should. While people were shopping in this mall, this tank exploded and 33 tons of water came out, injuring 16 people and killed 3 lemon sharks. And this is the picture of a mall in Kuwait of a shark tank collapsing. Look at the dude in the image compared to the sharks. What if you at the mall your friends and you got attacked by a shark all of a sudden? Well the good news here is that this is fake, it was a photoshopped image that went viral. But this next one is not fake. These guys found this massive great white shark abandoned in an aquarium and what they did next is crazy. And if you want to find out what happened to this gigantic shark, click on this video to find out. But one more question. Ready to go swim, man? 